So I want to talk about my first impressions for Assassin's Creed Shadows. And I'm going to say for the most part, a lot of really good impressions. I'm going to go over Yasuke and Maui's gameplay a little bit separately in this video, just because they are so distinctly different from one another. But I'm going to go over a few things that I take away initially from the gameplay video that was shown at Ubisoft Forward. Again, this is kind of this isn't like a frame by frame breakdown. This is just first impressions, things that I noticed when watching this uh, gameplay showcase. So without further ado, remember, if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave it a big old like. If you enjoy content like this, you want more like it. Be sure to check out that button underneath the video. It used to be red. It still says subscribe. Last but not least, got to thank my channel members. You guys help make these videos possible. If you want to join, check out that blue join button. Really help me out. Let's get right into this thing. First things first, we'll just go in order of how we saw things. Yasuke. Yasuke, there's a lot of really cool things I have to do with this gameplay. I'm... Honestly, I'm not one of the big open combat types of players. I will probably play more with Naue, but there were a lot of really cool things with Yasuke that I think have been missing from this franchise for a little bit of time, and I really like seeing it. One is people reacting to Yasuke walking around town. If you remember the really old games that you'd hear people, if, if you started parkouring on a wall or something, like, oh my God, what, is this guy drunk or something? Like the guards would say things, civilians would say things. That was really cool. And people were reacting to Yasuke being an out of towner, some of the NPCs were reacting to him, saying like, oh, he's he's clearly not from here. What's he doing here? You know, that sort of thing. I thought that was a really cool little detail. Uh, I also got to say the world looks absolutely beautiful. The way that each village seems to be pretty alive. It, it's like the NPC density looks really nice. Of course, it's not going to be as dense as a, a city like Paris and Unity or something, just because there's not that many people there. But as far as the activity and everything, it looked really good, even for a, a, a gameplay demo type of situation. It looked really nice. It looked really alive. I enjoyed that aspect of it. Now, one criticism I do want to talk about because we see Yasuke talk to an NPC and the faces, the actual graphical fidelity of the faces, the design and everything look really nice. But one big issue with this, I, I don't know if it's just that deep in the engine or something, or if it's a struggle to animate faces, but facial animations are still not looking very good. That could be fixed by launch, but at this point it's been what? This would be the third or fourth game in a row that they look terrible since Odyssey, which I don't get it because Origins honestly had pretty good facial animations. So I don't know where the downgrade has come since then, um, but the facial animations still look lackluster. Hope that's able to be fixed, if not, it is what it, I can live with it, but I do think it really harms people's idea of the presentation and the storytelling. It's just one of those things. Like, I think people would have received Assassin's Creed Mirage's story a lot better if the facial animations were better, because I think the story of that game is fairly good. It's just kind of a slog to get through some of those cutscenes because it just seems so awkward. And I don't want that to happen with this game. Now let's get to the juicy stuff with Yasuke. That's going to be combat. Now, of course, we don't see Yasuke doing a whole lot of parkour and assassin stuff. He's definitely the RPG fans uh, character in this game. Uh, but what we do see of him looks pretty darn good. One thing I have to massively compliment this team on, whether he was using his katana or he was using the big club looking thing. I don't know the exact name for it. The animations looked good. They looked much tighter than in Mirage or Valhalla. That animations in those games, more so Valhalla because that's much more of a combat heavy type of game, are so loose and ridiculous and cartoony. Here they look tight, they look fast, you feel Yasuke's strength. You can tell how good he is with a weapon. Uh, you know, the real Yasuke, he was trained as a Habshi warrior in India, so he has quite uh, an array of combat training before he arrives in Japan, so seeing him be so proficient with these weapons in this gameplay trailer looked really nice it also looks like sort of like in origins how you could select two weapons it looks like you have two weapons to choose from i don't know if they're going to portray that uh like the stances in jedi survivor where you could have two stances based on your preferred style um it looks similar it looked like the heavy club was kind of your slow but heavy hitting type of weapon and then the katana was this fast uh take out a lot of guys at once type of weapon so it could work similar to that, and I'm sure there will be more weapons that we'll get to play around with. But I have to say, especially once the katana came out, I was I was verbally begging the demos, like, please show me some katana gameplay. Um, and we saw it, and that looked just so satisfying. 
Um, even though, like I said, I'll probably play predominantly as Nawe, I'm probably going to have to spend a little bit more time with Yasuke than I initially thought because those, those combat animations do look nice. The abilities seem reminiscent of previous games. It's a little over the top for my taste, but I mean, they're there. They'll probably uh, be part of the gameplay loop. I can live with them. It is what it is. Uh, but, you know, I, I think the, the main part is the combat animations for me and seeing Yasuke uh, and how tight and precise and, and high quality those animations are. I can't praise that enough because I really had my doubts coming into this as to what they might look like after uh, what Mirage's combat animations were. Granted, you don't do a lot of combat in that game. Uh, and Valhalla's especially really had me worried. So that was very nice to see. So let's talk about Naue, the one that... This is the first time for an Assassin's Creed gameplay demo walkthrough. I've verbally been like, hell yes, this is what I've wanted for years. Just about everything Naue does in this gameplay trailer, everything she's going to have in this game is what I've wanted from the series for a long time. Uh, one, really the way to describe it. Everything about her gameplay style is like they took some of the stealth mechanics from previous games that were kind of there, but weren't really fleshed out and they expanded them, went deep into them. That's what I wanted to see for so long and it just hasn't happened. So there are uh, there's the grapple hook, which seems like a far more interesting version of what we had with the rope launcher and syndicate. Uh, of course, it seems like it works in a somewhat similar way where you can kind of click L1 on the PlayStation controller or it'd be LB on the Xbox uh, to launch it up to a grapple point, kind of like the rope launcher, but you can use it in conjunction with your parkour. So we see a couple times now a swings across and uh, lands on an area just in front of her instead of, you know, like the rope launcher, you launch to that point. It, you launch it, in this game, you launch up and you swing to the point that you want to get to. So it's kind of like a point of additional freedom, if that makes sense. America, more freedom's better, as I always say. But the other thing, we also see an assassination from one of these swings, which is really freaking awesome. She does a little flip thing and then takes a guy out. That was really sick. Um, we see how she sneaks around. She can take out the lamps, which was part of the rumors leading up to this reveal. Uh, you see how she kind of hides in the shadows. It looks like there's a garrote type of thing. So there's a point where there's a prompt that shows that you can grab someone or just assassinate them. And it looks like she grabs them and garrots them, like pulls them around a corner to, gar to garrot them. I don't know if there's going to be maybe an interrogation mechanic to that to get more information. Or maybe that would have to do with uh, getting spies because... We know that you can either assassinate targets or turn them into spies. So that I, I wonder if that would play into that sort of thing. But I thought that was really cool to see instead of the usual old style of assassinate a target, move their body out of the sight of other guards. This is like you can literally move them before you even take them out technically. I think that's really cool. It's a much faster way to approach those stealth scenarios. We also see her move through some low grass. We see her crouch all the way down and do like an army crawl through the grass, go fully prone. That was really nice to see. And then we also see her swimming. So there's like stealth swimming approaches. Again, sick. And there's like a little air tube she can breathe through. So if you have to sit and wait, you can kind of poke up, take a little breath of air so you don't drown right there. Now, I don't know if guards would be able to spot that potentially. That could be, you know, like a hardcore stealth type of mechanic, maybe on harder difficulties they do. I don't know. But I thought that was really cool. Just a nice little detail, a realistic detail that keeps things grounded in reality, but gives you like kind of an out if you do need to stay in the water for a while. Thought that was really nice. And I also got to say, I don't know if this is just for the gameplay demo, but the assassination like sort of cut to painting type of thing. I thought that looked really cool as well for both Yasuke and for Naue's assassinations i thought that looked really nice we didn't get to see an interrogation room or a confessional um but either way eh, you don't really see those in in these sort of demos anyway but either way i thought this game looked fantastic um i think this gives something for everyone but it seems to have it, it seems to have the scale to be able to have two focuses without being so overly bloated like Valhalla. I think, we, well, Valhalla is kind of the last main release. So 
So I'm going to be comparing it more to that as opposed to Mirage. Plus Mirage is so similar in certain aspects to Valhalla. I think it handles the issue of Valhalla being so unfocused by being in so many different directions and everything. It gives you one character that this one's going to be a samurai. You're going to do samurai stuff with them. This one's going to be a shinobi. You're going to do all shinobi stuff with this particular character. And it gives you two distinct experiences as opposed to what Valhalla was, which was there's the Viking experience, but it's not really fleshed out because we had to shoehorn in some other stuff that didn't really. And then everything's kind of watered down because you can't go in any particular direction because you're going every direction. This looks to have somehow had two focuses. We'll see if they pull it off, um, if it can be a truly polished experience that maintains two focuses where you can go through this game and experience a focused type of gameplay loop with either character that you pick. But speaking of picking, you have this almost GTA 5 style way between the two characters where you get to pick, are we going to kick the door down or are we going to go in stealthily? And then in the demo, it has now a way that's how we introduced to, to her gameplay section as she says, we'll go in stealthily at night. Uh, which again is another choice you can make because at night you are more difficult to see. Whereas if now I had decided to approach during the day, you know, things like that, that they went over, it would have been easier, different season. I thought that was really nice. There's just a lot to like about this game so far. And I think whether you like the older games or you like the newer games, I think there is something here for you. Um, it's it's just, it, it looks like it's going to be a good time for most people involved. Um, Anyway, that was my first impressions of Assassin's Creed Shadows. Let me know down below. What did you take away from this trailer? Uh, does it look good to you? Do you have other reservations? Let me know down below. Let's have a conversation and I will see you in the next video.